Let's take a look at this problem. So we need to end up with a 25% alcohol solution. We're going to make this up from a 90% alcohol solution and, and some pure water uh, to obtain the desired solution. Now, we don't care how much we end up with. We just need to have this 25% solution and we're going to use all of this uh, 90% solution. So what don't we know? We don't know how much pure water uh, we need to add to the uh, to the other solution. So let x equal the milliliters of water that we're going to add to the solution. There's actually another thing that we don't know and that's how much total solution we'll have at the end. So let y equal the milliliters in the final solution. Now what things can we calculate here? We can add up the amount of alcohol in the final solution and we can count up the total number of milliliters in the final solution. So let's calculate the, the milliliters of alcohol in total when we're all done. And notice that we can calculate that in two different ways so we can write an equation. We know in the final solution we need to have 25% of it being alcohol. So if y is the milliliters of the final solution, then 25% of that will have to, to be alcohol. And we know that all of the alcohol we've got is, uh, is 90% of uh, 275 milliliters. So we've calculated the total alcohol in the mixture in two different ways. One is 25% of the total solution has to be alcohol. And we also know that we put in, put in some alcohol. The only place that we got alcohol from was from the 90% the solution. And there were 270 milliliters of that solution. So these two have to be equal. So the other thing that we can count up is the total number of milliliters in the final solution. So where do we get stuff from? Well, we have X milliliters of water and we've got 270 milliliters of the 90% solution. So the milliliters of water plus the milliliters of the original solution has to be equal to the total solution Y. So now we need to solve this system of equations. Of course here, this first equation, the green one, will be able to tell exactly what y is, how many mil, uh, milliliters there are in the final solution. We'll just have to divide both sides by 0 0.25. So the, the total solution is going to be 990 milliliters. Now that we know what y is, we can substitute that into this equation and, and solve for x. So substituting that y value in up here, we get x plus 275 is equal to 990. So x is equal to 990 minus 275. So x is equal to 715. Now remember that <clears throat> that x was the milliliters of water to be added to it. So this amount is going to be 715. And y was the uh, milliliters, uh, was the total milliliters, which was 990 milliliters. So let's submit that and see how we do. Yeah, ooh, we got it right. 